This morning we are talking all things theater. I love every bit of it. Joining me this morning, Leslie Broker. She is the president of PNC Broadway Louisville. Let's talk about some of the shows that are headed our way because this is really exciting stuff. I feel like a lot of us have been really hungry for some good live shows for the last two years. Well, exactly right. It had been such a hiatus and we got through, I say got through this year because we just didn't know how it was all going to play out sure. with COVID and folks coming back. But we'll launch the new season in October with Fiddler. We follow that up with Pretty Woman starring Adam Pascal, which is fabulous. Um, Annie is coming. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird is coming. So we just, we have a really jam-packed, very diverse season. For folks that have maybe never been to to the theater here and been able to see some of these phenomenal shows you bring in, what do you want to say to them? I said the theater is for everybody, and I think you should come comfortable. You should come as you are. It might be a date night. It might be time to bring the kids. It may be time to bring grandparents. I think we have a little something for everyone, and, and people should remember, it is the Kentucky Center for the Arts. Our taxes fund that building. It is your building, so come on down and enjoy it. I've been able to go to a show this year, and it's really fun. Fun, just the whole vibe and especially the people sort of that you see leading up to the show everybody people are going out to dinner and they're walking the downtown and everybody seems to be in a good mood that's <laughs> right well and we love to see downtown bustling again sure. it needs it needs to continue to grow but the economic impact of the shows is all is another fascinating element when you see Vincenzo's or the Bristol is full and maybe a parking I mean most people don't like traffic but we love to see a parking jam at the parking lot so sure. just means lots of folks are there so what are you the most excited excited about for this upcoming season? Well, we have a show, the Tony Award winning show, Hades Town, mm -hmm. uh, which mixes two Greek mythology stories. And to me, it feels very seedy New Orleans um, with incredible music by Anais Mitchell. It's very current, still running on Broadway. So I think for me to get to see, I've only seen it once and to be able to see that again here in our beautiful theater is really a treat. And you get to see them all. So you know what's, I what's the best I do. I mean, best. it's the, it's the perk <laughs> of the job. It's a good thing I love theater, right? I, yeah. You know, it's, it really is a blessing to be able to see all the shows here and in New York. What surprised you the most about this last season coming off of the pandemic and everything that was involved with that? Is there anything that, that struck you as you were seeing the shows and the people come in the building? I think it was just the enthusiasm. I mean, you could see smiles through masks. Mm -hmm. You could definitely feel it. And as COVID got a little bit better and people were more comfortable and the, the particulars of coming to a show eased up a bit you mm -hmm. could just feel that and I mean the chairs are loud the houses have been full yeah. too I kind of expected that our subscribers stuck with us through the pandemic um, and to finally get to play off Anastasia which we had canceled um, because of COVID as yeah. well as waitress which we lost twice to both the fire at the Kentucky Center and COVID sort of felt like a victory lap sure. for all of us I love the point you bring up about bringing kids to the theater because my, my kids absolutely love it and they learn and I learn seeing things through their eyes. Sure. Well, I mean, I, I was bitten by the bug when I was little because my parents took me. So I think yeah. it takes that that special fairy godmother that says, we're going to the theater. <laughs> and hopefully you get goosebumps and then yeah. you say, that's my thing. Love it. Leslie, thank you for joining us. Thank this you. We appreciate it.